This is the way the thesis is structured loosely. I wish Bertha had seen this one, but you know, it's there. This is also available online. Um, the thesis proposal basically looks like this. Um, there's when you're working with like a, a scientific experiment or something that's a, like a science field or you're doing um, you're conducting research, it usually looks like the first one or the one on the, the left um, where you have experimental design um, or scientific method. And then if you're doing something that's more literary or something in humanities or something that doesn't involve research or for one reason or another, it usually looks like this, something that's theoretical and analytical. Um, there is some mixed matching, you know, it, if you're in like education pedagogy, sometimes it looks something more like the left and sometimes it looks more like the right. It just depends. Um, I, I find that it, there's no, like, there's no way to know which one you'll be unless you talk to your advisor or you're, you're in a specific field. So I, if you're in biology, almost certainly you're going to have the one left. If you're in English, almost certainly you're going to have the one on the right, but that is not always 100% the 